All right then, my friends. So the last cloud function that we created, this upvote one right here, actually contained quite a lot of asynchronous code. We had asynchronous code right here to get the documents. We had asynchronous code right here to update it. And we also had asynchronous code right here to update another document. Now, a lot of the time when we're using a lot of different asynchronous calls, it's sometimes better to use async and await because it becomes more readable than chaining on these then methods and using promises. Now, the way async and await basically works is that we place the async keyword in front of the function to denote this as an asynchronous function. And then this function will always have to return a promise. And then after that, we can use this await keyword to wait for certain actions to take place. So for example, if I wanted to go out and perform an asynchronous task to get some kind of resource, I could do that and I could say await this so it won't move any further than this until it fetches that resource. And then the result from this is stored inside this variable. And then after that, it moves on and it tries to do this one and it waits, it doesn't go any further until this is finished. And this sometimes looks a bit more readable than using promises all the time. So let's add async and await to this cloud function because cloud functions on Firebase, they use a node version which now supports async and await because async and await are actually a fairly new addition to the language. So first of all, we need to mark the whole function as asynchronous. So to do that, we just say async in front of the function itself. Okay, so the first asynchronous call we make is right here and we return the whole thing, but we don't need to do that anymore. I'm gonna take away the return and instead I'm going to say const doc is equal to await and it's user dot get. We don't need to tack on this dot then because it's gonna wait here until this finishes. So we don't need to say, well, then do something because we can just place that underneath and we're storing the document right here now. So we don't need to take it in here. So let's get rid of that and bring this over here. So that's the first thing done. We're waiting until we get this asynchronous call done and we store the result right here. We can still use that result as normal down here. So next down here, and by the way, we can take off this closing curly brace because we don't have that next block anymore. And we can scoot this over here. So next up, we're doing this asynchronous call right here. And again, we don't need to do this return keyword anymore. We can delete that and we can just await it. So we can say await this and then we can take off the dot then because now it's just going to wait until this finishes. And we can take away the closing curly brace for that as well. And then down here, we are returning the final promise. So that now looks a lot neater. It's clearer what we're doing. We're first of all getting this and waiting for it. Then we're doing this check. Then we're doing this and we're waiting for it before we move on. And then finally returning this promise. So I'm going to save that and deploy it by saying Firebase deploy only functions. And then we'll test it out to make sure everything still works. Okay, so now that's been deployed, let's try this out and make sure that everything still works. So I'm going to refresh over here just for good measure. And then I'm going to actually sign out and create a new user because I've already upvoted everything with this user. So let me go over here and register as toad at the net ninja.co.uk and test one, two, three. I'm going to register. And then after that, I'm going to try to upvote something. So Laravel 6, let's see if this works. And yep, we see that now it has three votes. If I try that again, I should get the error and I do. So JavaScript, yep, goes up. Python, yep, works. Try it again. And I get the error. Cool. So that all works. So there we go, my friends. That's how we use async and await in Firebase Cloud Functions.